I think being a UFC champion is just is a title, but uh, being a champion is first of all a mindset. You have to be prepared and ready to embrace that because being a champion is not just being a fighter or the guy that knocked people out. I think it's about do your best out of it. <laughs> it's very funny because uh, two months before the fight, I didn't know anything about crypto, not to mention NFT. You kind of like heard those things over years. I'm like, whatever. At the end of the day, then I started learn and then how to open an account on a, a wallet on Coinbase and this, and start to track all the um, the coin after my fight. The, the next day was the one-on-one, -on -one, and I think that was very impressive how people was betting on it. My one-on-one -on -one was so, I think, was for 284000 But the good thing is the money that I received from the NFT, I put, I just put, let it in the crypto. I started to follow and see how it goes up and down. Then I started to do some uh, to trade some, some, some of it, and it goes up and down. It was quite exciting, you know, so then since then I've been doing it and he be, I became like addict. Like when I wake up tonight to go to the restroom, I look at it. I have to look, you know, so I'm always ready. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is like trying to make my foundation as a community for kids, a place that they, they can go there as a refuge and have a place to hang out, think, believe, dream, you know, feel like they care about them. We can train every martial art or combat sport. When you think about solving some problem in Africa, you have to start from the ground. When you think about a gym, you are not just building a gym, and uh, walk away, that's not enough. You have a gym that kids come there free of charge, but some kid won't come because he doesn't have clothes. So you also have to think about that. Some kid won't come because he, do, he didn't eat. You have to think about that. So it's all that element together will make it be a foundation and more so like a community than a gym. That's the idea make them feel comfortable to dream because I grew up there so I know the problem there and being out there, being a dreamer caused me a lot of trouble, you know, just because I had a dream, you know. So I want to allow them to dream and to believe in their dream to kill that kind of like mindset who are spread out there like, oh, you can come from here and become something. He doesn't, he, he's not mean to us. We don't belong in that place, you know. So I just want to break that down and show the case that is not true. I prefer to partner with staff with product that I love personally, that I use. Like this is Hugo Boss, I mean, I don't know why Hugo Boss, but I always have my eyes on Hugo Boss because like you being a big guy uh, back in France, that was the only place that I can find like a shirt or something. Then I always find out he could be cool if I have Hugo Boss like do my suit and stuff, you know, because they have kind of like a big guy style. But uh, yes, Carl. Mm. I don't know if it's about working with them or not, but man, I want my fucking G-Wagon. I don't know what the hell is wrong. <laughs> I just want my G-Wagon. I can't find a G-Wagon. Isn't it crazy? Like... <laughs> I've been looking for this car for over a year. I thought it would be easy. I have a friend who has a dealership. We can find a G-Wagon.
Oh no, I finally like buy a used one, but I want my own, and I th- even co- I want my own customized, my own G wagon. Yeah, I want my G wagon. That's cool. <laughs> we can find a G wagon. <laughs>